25 sometimes can feel like you're out for a nice Sunday drive with your nan, no urgency at all, and then all of a sudden, bang, you're crashing an absolute stunner, just like this one in my Coventry City rebuild. And just like my Starbridge boys, I think we're about ready for a step up in difficulty. Right then geezers, uh, time for another iteration of these sliders. Now, big change in these ones to start with. We're on ultimate. We're on the big level of difficulty now. Now, uh, I know for some of you that's not going to run. So, realistically, these can work with legendary as well. Uh, I've been... I set them up so that they could work with legendary, to be honest. Um, but I've upped it to ultimate now. Um, I, I'm just finding that the gameplay uh, is a little bit too simplistic on legendary. Um, for years and years and years now, it's been better to do legendary and then make it harder. Um, now, I've got to be honest, uh, I think ultimate, it's time for the ultimate step up. Uh, and then we can start to make them a little bit more accommodating for us, for, for the way that we like to play the game. Now, again, these are going to be based on what I like to use uh, and how I like my game to feel. Um, but I will give you a little bit of a steer as to, to how to change it so that you can uh, you can play it uh, however you like, to be honest. Now, um, starting off then with the sprint speed. As always, I like my game to be nice and slow, nice and methodic. Um, a lot of play in the midfield areas rather than just giving it to your wingers, giving it to your fast strikers and just blasting through. Um, so sprint speed is going to be sitting at 30, 33. Um, now, you can up that to 36 if you like it a little bit quicker. Um, but... I think the biggest change uh, in these is that we've downgraded the acceleration only by one uh, because it does seem to make a massive a massive difference when you do it one or two. Um, I would say 49 and maybe 33, 34 if you go in on legendary. But at the minute, ultimate, 48 and 33 for me is working very nicely. Now, shot error. Uh, we've started to manoeuvre it so that our shot error, pass error, things like that are a little bit higher than the CPUs because, again, I'm finding that the CPUs struggle to break me down a lot of the time. Um, they, they, Even like the really good players, um, are, are, Lautaro Martinez comes to mind. He was playing for Spurs and Liverpool in one of the saves that I've, uh, I've played. And he was unbelievable on the ball. Um, but soon as people started to, to come and help him, he couldn't really knock the ball off to him or he was trying stupid little turns and I was tackling him really easily. Um, so changed up a little bit and he started to find little pockets of space and he scored an absolute banger against me for, for uh, uh, while I was playing for Coventry. Um, so uh, I think this is where we're going to start to see now the little bit of a differential. So shot error for user, 65 I would say, realistically, if you, you're playing on Ultimate, you want to probably downgrade it to about 62. But if you do that, the same amount, you need to drop the uh, the, the CPU down as well. So for me, I've been using uh, 65 or 64 in terms of shot error and having them on 62. You could even drop them down to 60 and have your 62, 63-ish. Um, but I'm going to sit there for me. Pass error then. User and CPU are going to be exactly the same. Um, passes still seem to be a bit dodged, to be honest. So, again, you could even drop that down uh, to 33, um, up to 53, sorry, um, and that would sit quite nicely. But at the minute, I'm, I'm liking it. Let, let's go 55, right in the uh, right slap bang in the middle. Shot speed, we're not messing with, we never do. Um, I really like the shot speed this year. It seems that if you're standing still, shots don't really go anywhere. But if you're running onto them, you can get some absolute swaz techers on some of them. So, yeah, really liking the shot speed uh, this year. Uh, pass speed then, a um, little bit of a differential. But for us, it's going to be 39 again. Nice slower pace of the game. Uh, but because we've already downgraded the acceleration for us and for the CPU, um, I think at 40, only one above uh, is, is quite nice. It still allows them to have a little bit of a, a zip passing around. But... Um, it's not too too quick. It's not stupid. It's not uh, little one-time balls or little one-twos here and there and then they're through uh, clean for all your goals. So um, feeling nice at 39 and 40. 
Injury frequency, we're not messing with 75 and 75. And again, the injury severity is going to be very, very low at 20. Uh, little and often, basically. Uh, we don't want ACLs every two weeks. But actually, having having an ACL every now and again is it, it's, it's realistic. Especially if you're a Villa fan. Goalkeeper ability, then, for us is going to be 55. Um, I have noticed that uh, when the CPU take the... The, the shots from distance and things like that, um, that they are going in quite often, um, especially for the better players, which is nice. I'm feeling that it's good, but we're still having a look at Dovin in the, the, the Coventry career mode that I've just done, and also um, Heine in the Starbridge career mode. It's just incredible still, even at 55. But 60 feels good for uh, the keepers that I'm playing against, because again, uh, we're scoring bangers still. We're scoring absolute stunners. Uh, but we don't want it to be every single shot. Every single one goes in. Um, I know I'll score a lot. You want to see the ones I take. Um, it, it, again, even in the live uh, games, I'm taking a lot of shots. So, um, yeah. More times out and not, they're not hitting the mark. But um, it's still it's still something that we, we want that challenge, don't we? Now, this is where I'm starting to find... Um, uh, I'm still working on these, I've got to be honest with you. So, uh, marking set for the user, I've got at 63. But then the marking set for the CPU, I've got at 67. Now, you could even drop that down. I would say, if you're working on uh, Ultimate, I would probably drop that down maybe to 65-ish and probably drop these down a little bit more as well. Um, but, but realistically, we want still to be able to play a good game and our CPU being up your ass every five minutes ain't going to be a fun game. So what we're doing here is we're we're sticking with us still acting quite tight and being quite tight to our players. But we want the game to be a little bit more open, give them a chance to, to break through our lines a bit. And with them, we want it to be a challenge, but we still want them to sit off us a little bit and give off that opportunity to play balls in behind or have a shot at goal. So... Um, again, like I've said, this feels good for me at the minute. If you're finding it too hard on Ultimate, drop it down a little bit. Drop these down. Um, or, if you're on Legendary, I would even bump them up a little bit just to give you that little bit extra um, extra challenge. But um, I'd probably go, yeah, 60, 66 and 62 would, would feel nice for me. Now, run frequency. I saw, um, I can't remember who, who it was, uh, a TikTok the other day talking about um, that players stand still a lot and I'm finding this that in this game especially this iteration at the minute with the updates um, your players don't really go on runs they don't really make runs they, they literally stand there and wait for you to do anything with them pass the ball to them or do them green arrows that, that tell them where to run so I've upped this really high I would even be tempted to, to touch it around 95 at times um, but I think 90 is a good base. You can start to change it and move it as you see fit. Um, so for both user and CPU, we're sitting at 90. Very high, I know. But still, it's one of those things that we uh, we, we need to press and we need to make them, make them do exactly what we're, we're asking them to do. Uh, now, line height. Uh, I've got it at 75. Uh, you could probably even drop it down to 70-odd. To um, I, I would go between 70 and 75 is looking good. This is just down to how you like, like the game to play. Uh, and again, like it says at the top there, it specifies how low or high the defensive line is. Um, so if you're finding that there's no space in the midfield, drop this down a little bit because they're, they're going to drop further towards their goal. Um, but I am noticing, again, it's something that, that people have been asking me loads. Um, I had a comment uh, a couple of weeks ago saying, um, how how do you get the other team to come and press onto you so that so that they actually take the ball off of you? Well, this is this is what you're looking at really. So line height between 70 and 75. I'll probably drop it at 72, um, just so that we're in that kind of that middle range. Uh, line length then. So uh, how stretched or compact the team is from the length of the pitch. So from goal to goal. Um, I've gone with 30. I want them to be quite compact. Again, uh, and I know I've said this with every single set of my sliders for, for yonks now, um, that realistically, in real life football, the game is really compact. 
it doesn't really tend to be that stretched um, over the pitch. So 30 seems realistic to me. I would say between 30 and 35 is where you're looking. Um, and again, if, you, if you're playing on ultimate, you might want to open this up a little bit to open up the game. Um, but I've been playing at 30 and I've, I've been enjoying it. So I'd probably go, again, I'd probably go, say, 31 as, as our kind of middle ground. Width then, as uh, the user and the CPU, um, we're going with 45. Um, I, I don't see that there's many holes that are being opened up. Um, in in your team, if you, you, you start bringing your centre-backs out, you're going to get passed around like a box of celebrations at Christmas. So it, it's one of those things. Um, do you want the, the, the game to feel quite um, quite tight um, or do you want it to be nice and wide? Now, for me, I kind of like it in the middle, so that's why I've, I've stayed at 45. It feels good for me, so I ain't going to change it. Fullback positioning, um, you can probably even up this to be fair as well. So 75 to 80. The way my teams play, the way I like them to play is I, I like my fullbacks to be bombing on. Uh, what I've been using, I, I don't particularly like the fullbacks in game. I like the wingbacks, the attacking wingbacks seem a little bit too attacking. Um, but sitting them at base at 77, it just pushes them up the pitch a little bit more. Has them nice and wide. Again, we've talked about the width. And has them nice and wide. And it just means that you can start to play them. Little one-twos, the little overlaps and things like that. They just open up a little bit more space down the, down the wing. So, uh, if, if you like wing play, if you like getting balls into the box and things like that, this is going to be imperative for you. And like I said, between 75 and 80, uh, I'm going to sit it at 77 just because nice and high, but... It's not stupid. It, the the in-game tactics that you use and the the, the instructions that you use uh, will will bring your players back or will not allow them to bomb on on as much. So 77 feels pretty good. And then the last lot, we always have this quite high. Um, again, I would say if you're working on ultimate sliders, you're probably going to drop these down a little bit. Uh, but it's the same for both of the, um, uh, the the user and the CPU. So I would say the lowest you want to go is 60. Uh, and the highest you want to go is probably 67, but anywhere between that range. Uh, but I'm sitting at 63. I like 63. Um, but again, if you're just moving up to ultimate, I'll drop it down. I think uh, I started when I put it up to ultimate. I think I dropped it down to 60. And I've just upped it to 63 as I've got kind of more used to the gameplay and things like that. So it's totally up to you. Just chop and change them as you can but use these as base this this is what these are they're they're a base set of sliders for you to then start to maneuver them a little bit more now onto the cpu sliders then so um again we've changed these quite a lot um and and it, it's it's necessary especially if you are moving on to um the 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 ultimate set of sliders because uh, these things do actually change the gameplay quite a bit. So tackle aggression, we've dropped this down majorly, down into 55. And again, this means that the, the defenders and, and, and things like that, when they're going for the tackle, um, they're not going to be as aggressive. So they're not going to fly in. Uh, what I've been finding is when I'm running onto uh, the, the opposition's box, they just two foot straight at me. And they, you're gaining on them. They're gaining on you. So all of a sudden, within a second, boom, they've set the, they've took the ball off you, or they've smashed straight the way through you. Um, I have found as well that red cards seem to be um, a, a, a quite a problem. Um, I played uh, a game against Brentford in the Coventry uh, rebuild, and Brentford got two red cards in like the first half, and it just completely well ruined the game for them. I loved it, but. It's one of those things that we don't want that aggression that high, especially if you're on the ultimate set of sliders, because they're going to be sharper, they're going to be onto you quicker, then you need to make sure that this tackle aggression is, is further down. So we've got we've stripped it right back, 55. Feels nice at the minute, you could probably even drop it down. Um, if you're feeling that you've got too much space, then, then bump it up a couple, but at the minute for me, 55 looking good. Build up speed, uh, 67 is, is relatively high. Um, but it's, uh, it, I think it's necessary because I've been finding that teams are a lot slower to, to, to build up, a lot slower to attack. And because of that, I'm able to get back a lot better, a lot easier 
and it makes defending a, a lot easier as well. So build-up speed, thinking 67 to 69 maybe. Um, and uh, again, if you're getting past rain too much, then just drop it down a little bit. Shot frequency, 68. Uh, I think I dropped that down from 70. I started at 70, and I've dropped it down to 68. Um, I, I want to see some bangers from the uh, from the CPU, and 68 seems seems really nice to me. Uh, first touch press frequency, similar to build at speed actually. Um, again, if you're going up to uh, ultimate, then you probably want it down 65, maybe 62. Uh, but if you're you're still on legendary, I would say up to about 68 because you do want the the ultimate. You want the CPU to be popping the ball around you a bit, um, creating some chances for them. Uh, crossing frequency, I've had to bump it up to 90. Uh, to be honest, I could even bump it up to 99. Uh, but 95 is probably the highest I'm going to go because I don't want to be stupid with it. Crossing frequency is still so low. There's so many times in game where I'm just like, yeah, he's going to cross the ball there. And they just don't bother. So really confused at why they're still not I, I don't even know what they've changed in the last couple of years to just stop the cpu from crossing at all um but 95 bump it up test it for me bump it up to 99 and see what happens dribble frequency this is what i was talking about earlier with lautaro martinez and things like that uh, i've i've dropped it down and that's not to make it easier it's so that they don't dribble as much because they hold on to the ball too long and when they hold on to the ball too long it's easier for me to take it off them. So I've dropped it down to 58 just so that they actually do pass the ball every now and again. Still, I want them more often than not going for that dribble. Um, but actually, it being up in the 60s and the 70s just wasn't helpful. And then score move frequency. I quite like this, to be honest. I've, I've enjoyed it. I've just played against um, Chelsea and Cole Palmer was doing that little kind of back heel to to roll it was class and it, it did me a couple of times lucas Paqueta does it all the time as well so skill move frequency you could probably bump it up to 70 uh but 65 i don't want it to be a, an absolute circus so 65 feels pretty good for me there so that's the cpu sliders and the simulation settings so then the game settings uh, i haven't changed them much to be honest but again just to give you a little bit of a uh, a look at them competitive preset as always precision shooting and time finishing get it off don't even bother uh lobbed uh through pass assistance i've got it on semi uh, i did have it on uh, manual previously uh, but i think this is this is feeling really nice to me at the minute lob through pass is going to be on semi uh, and then grown pass assistance again on semi cross assistance we're keeping it on semi as well i know we've we've spent time on uh, manual but we're back to semi now, and I feel like it's actually quite nice. Um, I've been noticing the difference between players who can cross and who can't cross, and it might be that it was the players that couldn't cross before. Uh, I know these get patched so often anyway, so in a week or so, it might be crap. So if, the, if your crosses are not great, check your player, see if your player's got good crossing stats, and if he has and they're still crap, stick it on manual. Lobbed pass assistance, uh, always keeping it on manual. It's imperative um, just for the balls that I like to play. I like to play that diag, don't I? And from playing it from the centre back or our full backs to our wingers just over the head of that full back, oh, it's just beautiful. And you can only do that with manual. Uh, pass receiver lock, yeah, we're keeping it on late. I never use that precision pass anyway. Uh, directional for clearing assistance and tactical defending i love tactical defending it's great if you can't use it try and try and practice to get to use it because it's so much better for your game pass block assistance yeah keeping it on uh, auto switching for air balls only and that's about it i'm not going to go for the rest of them because it's a bit boring for me because these they don't really tend to tend, tend to change camera settings as always um it's going to be legacy i like legacy and then 15 10 7 0 0 and that's it because pro camera i don't even use but that's it geezers that's my sliders and settings game settings and camera settings uh for this most recent update if you've liked it drop it a like comment down below as well if you've used these and tell me how they're treating you if you like them if you don't like them what have you changed what have you kept the same 
I love to hear it. I love to have a chat with you in the comment section below. So once again, it's much love for me. I will see you on Saturday for Starbridge FC season six. Much love and peace.